Monsters, creepers. We've all had our experiences with them, with what we think may or may not be out there, lurking in the woods, in the water, under the bed. On this special edition of Real or Fake, I'm gonna be looking into some really scary creatures like Frankenstein, Jaws, the Hunchback of Notre Dame, and a couple of others to see if you guys know which ones are based on real life characters and which ones aren't. Pay attention and get ready to compete to see who's right and who's wrong. Hey guys, Bill here. Our first scary creature today is one of the most famous monsters of all time, Frankenstein. He was big, he was scary looking, and created in a laboratory by a mad scientist named Victor Frankenstein. He's alive! He's alive! <laughs> most of us know Frankenstein from the movies, right? Well, guess what? He actually got his start in a book way back in 1818 that was written by a 20 year old girl named Mary Shelley. Now let's check out one of my favorite scenes from the 1931 version of Frankenstein. Now this is the first really good reveal of the monster here. Now watch as he turns around. I mean, look at that guy, wow. Can you imagine waking up and seeing something like that? Like standing, oh, look at his eyes. Oh, <laughs> what? Can you believe this guy created this thing? Now, what I like about this scene is it's not one of the big action scenes in the movie, but it tells us something really important. And that is that the monster, I just call him Frankenstein, the monster has desires of his own. And that's something that Frankenstein, the doctor, does not realize right here. Now they open up this window, Frankenstein sees the outside and desire is born within him. Look at that, see? Desire is born. I want to be outside. And you know what it's like when you wanna do something and then other people tell you you can't do it? Well, that's exactly what's gonna go on with this monster only what we don't know and what Dr. Frankenstein doesn't know is, does this monster know the difference between good and bad? I mean like acting correctly and not acting correctly in pursuit of his desires. And that's why I like this scene. Well, as you might suspect, things did not turn out too good for old Frankenstein. But here's my question to you. Do you think this monster is based on a real life character of any kind? Or is it a complete work of fiction? Now, here's how I want you to vote. If you think this thing is even remotely based on a character like Mary Shelley knew a creepy looking gardener or something like that, and she based this character on that, then I want you to vote real. If on the other hand, you think she just completely made this up in a creepy pasta-like competition with her friends, then I want you to vote fake. If on the other hand, if you think we don't know one way or another whether it was based on a real character, then I want you to vote unknown, okay? So go ahead and leave me your votes up here. It's all right to also just leave an answer down there in the comment section, or you can just shout it out. You ready? And go. Okay, did you vote? Good, because we're gonna get right to it. I wanna find out if some unfortunate person out there had the most famous monster of all time. I mean, can you imagine, even if it was later in life, you know, somebody walked up to you and said, did you know Frankenstein is based on you? <laughs> that would not be a good day. Uh, anyway, well, let me put it to you this way. The the real life person, if there was real life, didn't find out in their lifetime because the official answer is... Fake. According to Wikipedia and the author herself, the idea of Frankenstein came from a number of other books, but not any real life character she knew of. For you Greek mythology lovers out there, one of the main sources was the story of Prometheus by a really famous writer named Ovid. 
That's the one where the guy stole fire from the gods and created man from clay. But that was all 100% myth, which basically means fake. There is a creature alive today who has survived millions of years. Uh, of guys, evolution. I don't know what to tell you. I don't think you should be standing on the back of the boat right now. Uh-oh. Uh, we get back inside. Oh! <laughs> oh, man, is that like the biggest shark you have ever seen? Jaws, in case you don't already know, is this insanely scary movie made in 1975 that truly made people too scared to go swimming in the ocean. Mainly because it featured a great white shark so huge and aggressive, it could literally sink a boat. That's a 20-footer. 20 25. Now, one of my favorite scenes is this one because it's the first time that old Brody here sees the shark. Now, after he sees this, this is where we get one of those famous lines that everybody knows. You're going to need a bigger boat. All right, so here's the question on this one. Did the guy who wrote Jaws, Peter Benchley, did he, like, base his story on a real shark that was attacking tourists somewhere? Well, if he did, then the answer is real. On the other hand, if he was just staring at a blank piece of paper, making it up as he went along, then the answer is fake. So go ahead and leave me your votes up here. Answers down there if you wish, or just shout it out. We're gonna get to the red envelope really quick today because I wanna find out if I can go swimming again back in the water because if it's real, uh, hey, guess what? I may be staying on the beach. Uh, well, for you people who like to go in the ants and go in the ocean, um, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, the official answer that is right here in black and white says, are you ready for this? Get ready. Real. As it turns out, there are a whole bunch of newspaper reports that claim Jaws was based on a series of real life shark attacks that took place in 1916 along the Jersey shore of New York City. But according to the author, Peter Benchley, his inspiration really came from a news report he read about a fisherman catching a 4,550 pound, and that's about 2,000 kilograms, great white shark off the coast of Long Island in 1964. Either way, the answer still remains very real. And that, my friends, is scary. None of man's fantasies of evil can compare with the reality of Jaws. Rusty Jean sent in this video called World's Scariest Babysitter Hired from Internet. He wrote, Bill, was this nasty witch really caught on camera? Or is this just some kind of hoax? Rusty, I've seen some crazy people caught on camera, but I've never seen anything like this. I mean, I hope for that baby's sake, this thing is fake. I mean, look at her. I mean, she looks like she's like building a trench, like they're gonna go to war or something like that. I mean, that's just like cruelty on two legs is what I would call that. And I would hope none of you ever end up with a babysitter like this one. Wow. Now on the surface, the video does look like it was taken by one of those secret security cameras some people set up to make sure their kid's okay. The video is said to be from England and that it was taped on Christmas Day. Seriously, I mean, somebody actually went out on Christmas Day and left their kid with this nightmare of a babysitter? I don't know about this one. On Facebook, Vincent Chu, Alvin Day Ritt, and Michael Hutchinson all thought the babysitter is real. Jonas Clark Ozetta added, she must be arrested. And Fish and Boots said, I am speechless. But Jack Smith thinks it's fake and wrote, who even has that sort of equipment with them in their back pocket? Jack, I know it seems far-fetched, but hey, the parents could have left. She went down to her car, she got the bob wire, and then, you know, brought it up. I mean, after all, they did get her off the internet. 
I did a little more checking around and it turns out there are a lot of reports about this babysitter, especially from kids who are worried she might end up being their babysitter. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, go ahead and leave me your votes up here. You can just leave an answer down there if you wish, or you can shout it out. Now, if you think there are real crazy babysitters out there that are capable of putting barbed wire around a baby's crib, then I want you to vote real. If on the other hand, you think some crazy YouTube content creator has just gone mad, then I want you to vote fake. I hope it's fake because, you know, I mean, can't go in the water, can't get a babysitter. I mean, what is this world coming to? Well, thankfully, this one is fake. Brian Chapman was the first with the smoking gun on this one. According to Snopes.com, the world's scariest babysitter, AKA Nancy James, is the brainchild of the horror story YouTube channel, Don't Turn Around. They created this fictional video and many more about Nancy James. And just so you know, the barbed wire is made out of rubber and the toddler was never in any danger at any time. In fact, the baby was placed in the video via special effects. So rest assured people, this is just one big fat babysitter fake. Hello? Hi, Bill. Who's this? It's Nancy. Huh? I know you're trying to prove I don't exist, but that's <laughs> everyone to believe. Who is this? You see, when you don't believe I'm out there, that's when I'll get you. Brylea Gunter sent in this photo and asked, is this real? I saw it on Nuke's top five, but couldn't find anything else about it. Well, Bria, you know, I don't know about this one. So to start, what do you say we hop over to Nuke's top five and see what he was saying about this? This next video was supposedly filmed by a backpacker who was making his way across Eastern Europe. The clip takes place in a rundown Romanian zoo. Okay, so I'm in this really crappy zoo in Unnashed, Romania. They got this really weird creature caged up. This looks like some sort of deformed human. Okay, so this backpacker is making this video and then he... But wait a minute, Nuke, we need to know who this backpacker is. I mean. We need to know the guy because that's where we're gonna find out whether it's real or not. I did a little more checking around on my own and actually found the guy. Here's the first post of the video on a channel called Gary Freeman. Gary says the video itself is from an unnamed source. All right, let's take a look. They got this really weird creature caged up. This looks like some sort of deformed human. I'm gonna try to lose some footage of it. Okay, so yeah, I can go with that. I mean, you know, this guy saw something and he came out and he decided he was gonna go back in and record it. And that's what he tells us. All right, so he goes back in. All right, and he's getting, oh, wow. And that's, that's it. Okay, so I guess it's like a security guard came or something. We don't know what the guy's saying. It's in a foreign language. All right, well, I guess it's time you let me know what you think, okay? Go ahead and leave me your votes up here. Leave me an answer down there or just shout it out. I will get out this and we'll find out if they really are keeping a creepy guy or creature or whatever that thing is uh, behind bars over there in uh, Romania. And uh, it says here, wow, this is kind of a surprise because the official answer is that in Romania, hey, do not keep things like that in a kid. It's a fake. Jacob Lucan came up with the smoking gun on this one. Believe it or not, this creepy creature doesn't come from a zoo. It comes from a promotion for a video game called Killing Floor 2. Wow, now that's what I call super fake. It's a little insulting to call the hunchback of Notre Dame a creature because he is a man and he comes from a French novel by Victor Hugo. But ever since I saw him for the first time, I always wondered if he was based on a real character. Now there have been a bunch of movies made about this thing, but uh, probably the most famous is the 1939 version. Here's the hunchback here. Uh, he lives up in a bell tower and he rings the bell 
and he's ridiculed by the entire town because he's really ugly and hunched over. Now, his friend in all this is a young actress named Maureen O'Hara, one of the great all-time actresses of Hollywood. And in the end, when Maureen O'Hara is accused of being a witch and uh, they try to hang her, well, the hunchback comes to her aid and rescues her. All right, so if you think that the Hunchback of Notre Dame, AKA Quasimodo, is based on a real life character, then I want you to vote real. If on the other hand, you think maybe he could be just a big ball of fiction, then I want you to vote fake, all right? So go ahead and leave me your votes up here, answers down here, or just shout it out. I'm gonna get out this and see what we got here. So remember, real if he's real, fake if he's fake, and if we don't know, if you think we don't know what we're talking about here, then just go ahead and vote unknown. And the official answer, oh. I hope you did vote unknown because it is unknown. According to the Telegraph newspaper, a British archivist, Adrian Glue, discovered references to a real-life hunchback in 2010 while he was working in the church archives. Newspapers that picked up the story ran big titles like Real-Life Quasimodo Uncovered in Tate Archives. But the truth of the matter is, we don't know if that is accurate because the guy who first wrote the book passed away many years ago and can't confirm if he was thinking about that real life hunchback when he wrote the book. And now for my favorite fake of the week. It's this photo of a can of unicorn meat. David Mancina sent this in. It was attached to a note that wanted to know if there was real unicorn meat in that can. Seriously, David? If you believe that one, then I have a hunk of dinosaur leg I can sell you too.